Hi, I'm Tiffany from Mitlify, and today we'll be going over a demo of how to use MCP servers to generate new docs. Imagine you work for AppleDB and you're launching a new analytics feature and you have a PRD for it. You can use AI to write this new documentation for you with MCP servers. We'll need to set up two MCP servers, one for your AppleDB docs in order to draw from your existing documentation for style and tone, and then one for Minlify docs so that you can write Minlify compatible components. Assuming AppleDB uses Minlify for its docs, installation of these MCP servers is really easy. All you need to do is run a simple command and the uh, MCP server configuration will be automatically added to your MCP client. Today I'm going to be using Windsurf as my MCP client, but you can also use Claude Desktop or Cursor. I'm going to input my PRD so that Windsurf can write the doc in the style of my existing documentation using my MCP server of my docs. And then I'm going to ask Windsurf to write it in Markdown using Mintlify components, which will then use Mintlify's MCP server. And with that, we'll have a new docs page ready to go. Let's start with installing the Mintlify docs MCP server. You can go to our documentation and find the command in our docs. Through this simple installation, you can copy and head on over to your MCP client, in this case, Windsurf. All I have to do is go to the terminal and paste that command. And I can go ahead and skip these API keys because I don't need them right now. And my MCP client is Windsurf. And just like that, my MCP server is configured. I can see that it's been installed properly by going to click Configure MCP. Windsurf will pull up the config JSON file. And I can see that Minlify has been added. Now I need to install my AppleDB server. I can go to my Minlify dashboard and go to MCP server to find the installation command. All I have to do is copy and paste it into my terminal again. And now that I select Windsurf, I can see it automatically populate in my config file. I can go ahead and refresh, and now I will see AppleDB and Mintlify are both installed. So now I can start prompting Windsurf to write for me. Let's get started with write a help doc using the style and tone of AppleDB docs. I'm going to copy and paste my PRD and let Windsurf cook. Now that Windsurf has written this help doc based on the PRD, I can ask it to write it in Markdown in a Mintlify compatible format. Here's my prompt. And now I can see that Windsurf is using the Mintlify MCP tool. Great, Windsurf has just written my doc using Mintlify components, which is great. One last thing that I forgot is, are there any redundancies with my existing docs? I can go ahead and ask Windsurf this as well. And now Windsurf has gotten back to me that no, there's no redundancies and even gave me some suggestions on how to organize the navigation. Now I have some Mintlify ready documentation. So I'm going to go ahead and find the markdown, copy it. I can go ahead and paste it in our web editor in Mintlify and then switch to the visual editor to see how it formats. And now I can see everything is formatted with cards, callouts, etc. So that's it for our high level demo of how to use an MCP server to generate new content for your documentation. Thanks for watching and let us know if you find other killer use cases for MCP servers.